Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in Old Road Blues in which we're playing as Lost Hills. Or really kind of the old redone Brother to Steel in California, but one fateful bullet. With one soldier's decision, the wasteland will be changed forever. A brotherhood would rise, a brotherhood of uh, steel. On uh, the 15th of October, 2077. Well, it was a fateful day, the day when Roger Maxson first rose to the challenge. His previous commander, Colonel Spindle, not capable of taking the guilt of what he protected, had committed suicide. The folks in what had transpired, which had been kept secret from even those soldiers guarding, now came crashing down. Human experimentation with genetic modification. Initially with the intent of curing and protecting against any and all illnesses. But intent rarely remains pure, and seeing the potential of the U.S. government decided to instate treat super soldiers, forcing prisoners of war and others to be exposed to different strains of the forced evolutionary virus, creating new monsters and abominations, much of which were not even capable of life. Perversions of humanity, ordered by those which had already become monsters inside. It was the last straw that was needed for Maxon to cut all ties with the United States of America. His men followed. One scientist after another was interrogated, a judge, and found guilty. Their punishment? Summary execution. On the 20th of October, on all frequencies, Roger Maxon and his soldiers declared their secession from the United States. A broadcast of intent, of justice, their families were soon after transferred to Mariposa, and fear what might happen to them should the government finally decide to act. Yet no response came even as a nuclear death rained from the sky on the 23rd. Born back when? Military heritage unlocked. Exodus. They live beyond the past and carve a new future. And words have power. They build identity. They take on a meaning if you keep using them. Even if they didn't exist to begin with. There was a knight inscribed after the fall of Rome that protected what was left of Western civilization. So, we are the new knights, so, and our role is similar. By Roger Maxon. What was military heritage? We only have three research slots, which kind of worries me, but... Reward technologies. Uh, origins. Oh, global stats. Okay, remember Navarro. I used the way to pick, prick the bear. After the trial from a royal destroyed their enclaves oil, where we joined the NCR to take down Navarro. But unlike the troops of the NCR, we treated the people of the land with respect, and some of them even joined us as paladins. They returned during our war against the Brotherhood and guided us to help attack Redding and destroy the gold reserve. Now, they fight for the way of life on lands against the NCR. Perhaps we could provide assistance to them if they needed it. A useful way to prick the bear, but yeah. Uh, we'll see how we do in this campaign. I've heard this is kind of a really kind of slow-burning campaign. So we'll see. Um, I don't know. Put the way to the past. It was almost as if fate itself had decided that, that he should succeed, the bombs being the answer to their challenge towards those cruel masters of old. <clears throat> Retribution and flame struck down all, guilty and innocent alike. The soldiers sat, covered with their families, waiting for the Armageddon to be over. But some miracle did my reposer did not suffer a direct hit, and the underground facilities and bunkers were secure enough to keep them safe for a time. They're not soldiers of the U.S. Army anymore, but just a band of survivors held together by the iron will of Roger Maxon. The 25th marked a special date as another hero, Sergeant Plantner left for the surface. To return to the news that the air was clean, it was quickly decided that Mariposa needed to be abandoned. The crimes committed here and the risk of further nuclear strikes weighed too heavily on the place. After the last few scientists had been executed, their punishment delivered. The exodus began. The former servicemen and their families all followed Max, and on the 27th of October, they left Mariposa behind to never return. Their new destination, the government bunker at Lost Hills, our home, waited by choice. The Chains of Bime. The Chains of Bime is the cornerstone of our organization, the rock that supports the Great Tree of the Brotherhood. We're good. As we're slowly, like we saw earlier, building up so we can get at least 15 civvies. That's the goal to get at least 15 civvies. Like I said, it's going to be quite slow burning, but you know, whatever. We'll do the best we can. Paladins of a New Age. After the adrenaline of having survived Armageddon, Armageddon settled, despair took hold. Everything was lost. The past gone. What was even left? What purpose? Everything they had believed in, even the flag, it turned out to be nothing more but than a playground for those who desired power. For those who used technology to dominate, yet once more, it was Maxon that gave that hope. That was restored. He gave new symbols, meaning, purpose. To guard the future from the past. To never repeat what had happened before. To safeguard humanity from its own greed. The Brotherhood was born, and with it, a dynasty that would safeguard humanity and our Brotherhood. Every organization needs structure, especially those made to safeguard humanity. Three distinct branches, each with their own purpose and goal. The scribes to store, keep, and develop knowledge. The knights to maintain and preserve knowledge and technology in the paladins to fight and protect. Those not ready to choose yet are initiates. Learning and training to one day find the calling and step into one path of their choosing. Beyond these three branches are the elders, usually senior paladins that serve with distinction. <coughs> they are the ultimate authority in all brotherhood matters, even if they often delegate. These elders form a council which is led by the high elder. The high elder is not the sole master of the brotherhood. The council can overrule the high elder at any time and even replace him. Lastly, the Codex, those fundamental tenets written by our founder, Roger Maxon itself. Nobody stands above the Code. United in heritage, then a knight in the bear. Stories of David defeating Goliath are as old as our civilization, but sometimes fate shapes not alike the stories. 
and the Paladins. It is thanks to the works of the brave Paladins that we are here today. The mind is the most faithful of our soldiers. Men of Steel charge with the fulfillment of Maxim's great vision, the protection of the future against those who would oppose her. Paladins on the battlefield are the walking tanks that won near, nearly won the Yangtze, an unstoppable force that can oppose any obstacle. Council schemes. Elders and lost souls have always been known to scheme against each other. A recent set of allegations have sent the tumbling for the worse. Sent things tumbling. The Romans suffer setbacks. Maxonians suffer setbacks. Resist change. Keep the status quo. Oh, crap. I don't know who to choose. Ruler? Tony? Oh, we're on A-Historical as well, by the way. Maxon. Shellshock. Ooh, he's not good. Intellectuals. Um... Maxonians, huh? Maybe? I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I recline. They were like children playing with technology recklessly, thinking that they can restore what was in the past without actually understanding what the past was. They wanted to reintegrate technology that the Wasteman was not ready for. They fought over it. We fought back. It almost seemed as if we could win, but the NCRs is an entirely different beast. As reckless as they are with technology, as numerous as they are, we damaged their economy and their pride, but ultimately we were too few. Now we're hiding within our own fortified bunkers. We're hiding from those who wish to restore what failed once. Well, I lost everybody. To build a future underground. A tutorial for the underground construction decision system. Yeehaw. Be happy and stuff. Understood. Huh. Paladins. Oh, that's not bad. Empty suits. Paladins are our warriors, clad in gleaming armor and equipped with the best the brother has to offer. They're the pinnacle of what it meant to be a warrior, ready, capable, and determined, if we only, if only made more of them. Paladins function a lot differently than other units. Their numbers are very limited. They cannot be trained by normal means, and their templates cannot be edited. They're deployed via specific decisions. Either these units on the field direct aid to other chapters or for expeditionary purposes to explore pre-war ruins. Paladins aren't easy to replace. Every loss hurts. Take good care of them. Boy, sounds mightiest. Forge new paladins. Uh, they are a special power armor division, powerful, but limited in number. Recall, or deploy them, access to the relevant decision category. Additionally, each paladin we train allows us to build an additional expeditionary department through the relevant decision. Expeditionary ban. The scribes. The knights. Well, I know we want to wait to get a lot of paladins, but let's at least get one to get started, I guess. Some rather exemplary exemplary knights made their sense of honor and duty known in a conflict with the NCR. Let us respect the sacrifices they have made to our cause by granting them the privilege and training required to be full paladin and over the Brotherhood. And the Expeditionary Ban. During the peak of the NCR Brotherhood War, a temporary ban was placed on paladins wishing to assist direct distant chapters of the Brotherhood. Now that we have ceased fire with the NCR, most of the elders agree that this ban should be revoked. So we have bottle caps economy, organization stuff. Oh, what is this? Uh, available construction slots for admin capacity, underground expansion. Oh, crap. Max available spaces out of 100. Underground construction slots are special slots we can fill with. Various buildings or installations. To see and utilize your underground construction slots, see the relevant decision category. Construct underground construction facilities. We remove a civvy for a while and then get it back later. Underground laboratories. Or laboratories. Upkeep, huh? Condensed workshops, admin centers, laboratories. Hmm. Dig deeper. Deploy paladins. They're powerful, limited power armor units available to lost hills. They don't suffer from normal train malices as normal power armor divisions. Don't affect your special forces capacity. You can train or game or paladins to deploy through reward or focus rewards. Lost Hills Politics. Maxonians are the traditional hardliners of the Lost Hills Council. Composed of aged, experienced, conservative elders hoping to hold on to the tradition of the Codex, Roger Maxon's bloodline and the importance of heritage. They see Roger Maxon as a hero. One who saw that ideals have built a heritage stronger than any other left in the wasteland. A hero ought to be respected, revered, respected. Rombians. They're the moderate reformers of the Lost Hills Council, composed of younger elders, progressives, and those who regularly get into petty debates within the Mac with Maxonians. The Rombians, named their idol Rombus, take a compromising stance within the Brotherhood. Willing to admit to flaws that the Maxians seem to ignore, yet still being able to work with the system. To Rombians, Roger Maxim was an important and pivotal figure in the founding of the Brotherhood, and yet they value the chain that binds that he is, as he established them as such. Oh, support efforts of the Maxians. Support efforts. Huh. Outlaw ideological thought. Seems like I'm going to play this at least once or twice. Jonathan Maxim gains if we can do this one. More support for the elites. 
not Rombians allowed. Way more political or better political power. Core creation cost goes way down. Recall personnel from the, from these guys. Okay. Wow. This is gonna get. This seems very complex. It's probably not that complex, but it seems complex. We have these guys. 15 combat width is not bad. And then we have infantry, which is not great. 10. Yeah. Not great. Any plays Blue Rose Society though with a special sub mod, Director Cole. Oh, are they the FBI or something? Not that we like the FBI on this channel, but you know, we might, but we might not. We might not trust them. But we might trust them, but we might not. You never know with me. Actually, you might know with me. But, uh, back to business. Oh, heck yeah. Slowly, Lost Hills returned back to its usual operations. We may have lost a few bunkers in our fight with the NCR, but as long as we hold Lost Hills, we'll never die. Maxon's wills endures. Underground hangers. Air technology sucks. Now the confusion. That really sucks. We also have those evil tin cans. That's not good at all. <laughs> Steel Pride's not bad. Uh, Lost Hills logistics, not bad either. Daily Ruler and Elite Support. And then, of course, tensions. Let's get back to business. Let's learn about the scribes. Scribes are unique support that fight alongside our paladin divisions. They help give our paladins the, su the supply they need to excel in the battlefield. Which is a good thing. Quartermaster pensions. Oh. All for the codex. Superior firepower. Oh. Wow. Kind of sucks. Military academy training, which makes sense. Academy officers makes sense. No muties allowed. No undesirables makes sense. Selective outside recruitment. That makes sense. Back to business. The scribes. Uh. And what else are we going to do here? Yeah, probably refine warfare. Nice. Members of the Fallen. Initiate political participation effort. Research effort. The Knights. The Knights dedicated their duty and purpose that offer the most noble paladins a fire team support they need to blast their foes with the plasma in the name of Maxon and the Codex. Scribes, you know. Scribes are our historians. Keepers of knowledge and scholars. They research theoretical applications of anything underneath the sun, sometimes working together with the Knights to create prototype weaponry. They also keep records of our brother's exploits. Every action being taken note of and enshrined within the scrolls. Because of this, uh, do scribes often have the most direct contact to our primary goal, to preserve the past. Knowledge is power. Scribes unlock tech. Huh. Who song? The Crane School, huh? Lopan. She Mercy, that's kinda cool. Nice to build. Knights maintain, produce, and safeguard equipment, and they're usually not meant for frontline combat. But every knight knows how to handle a rifle. In desperate times, they are also used as scouts due to having no access to power armor. Power armor is reserved for the paladins, our best warriors. Yeah, what a knight might lack in combat prowess. He or she might expect more for in technical expertise. If something breaks, so the scribe can fix it with closed eyes and only one arm. A seance. Oh, planning speed. Oh, boy. Nice. Engineers of war. More command power, command power, command power, command power. Hmm. Refurbished stuff, filled with purpose. Empty suits? We might need empty suits, but engineers of peace. So we can do long range research, which is not bad. But I personally prefer long range communication because you get technology immediately done. As head of the Brotherhood of Steel Across America, it is imperative to the Brotherhood's mission that we ensure that as many of our distant chapters are able to live as possible. Because we want to help them out as much as possible. Because trying to get all the gangs together is going to be kind of difficult. Creator of forms. Ruler. Commitment to purity. Ooh. Outside initiates. Currency reform. Commitment to duty. Scripts. Gold bullion, huh? Caps. Open up the traders. Council reforms. Form to political power. Wow. I just want to hold out against the NCR, probably. That's probably what we want to do in the end. That'll probably be our biggest thing to do. After long range communication, though, empty suits. Following the intermission of the NCR Brotherhood War, plenty of suits of power armor left behind or left abandoned due to soldiers dying in the field of battle. Let us reappropriate these fallen soldiers' equipment and give it out so that new heroes can one day live up to their legacy. Fill with purpose. The Blessed Codex give our soldiers the strength and will needed to be to do what must be done for the sake of the Brotherhood. Engineers of Peace. In time. The Brotherhood's work <clears throat> will lead to an era of peace and prosperity for all mankind. A mankind that has learned of all of its hardships and found a way to move past them all. Engineers of War. Until such a time that the Brotherhood can lay down their arms, the soldiers of Lost Souls will be prepared for anything. 
Many foes look out there in the wasteland, hungry for knowledge with eyes of greed. Room to grow. Without our neighboring bunkers, it's going to be tough for a lot of souls to sustain itself on the side alone. We're going to need a room to grow if we hope to do with do what the Codex proclaims. Keepers of knowledge. The Lost Souls, as over the, for the last 200 years, become one of the largest institutional centers of knowledge in the world, holding vast swaths of information um, on pre-war sciences, as well as unprecedented understanding of the outside world that would be the envy of the NCR. Uh, Brings of progress. Now, let's, let's start with that. It is Maxim's vision that, w that we, when the day has come, will be the group ordained to grant the nobles of humans of technology and splendor that we have fought for all these years. As well, I hold technology so that when America is ready, we can offer her the keys to civilization. New developments. While some see the development of new technologies on the top of the old as something that could put us on the same track as the old government in the uh, ages past, there is still some merit to the idea of refining the techniques. Who is the house and recalibrate our tech? It's important that we didn't break down, after all. Memories of the following. If we don't prepare to fight other groups, those unready for the splendor of our technology, will seek to steal from us that which we have earned ourselves. We must always be ready to fight and always be ready to pay respects to those who made the sacrifices needed for the maxims ideals. Memories of heroes. As a brother grows into establishing an important part of this way sin, the amount of people willing to live and die for Maxon's cause grows. Let us honor those willing to do whatever it takes to uphold the Codex, Maxon's memory, and the protection of our infallible heritage. The greatest gift is friendship. The next greatest is a laser gun. It appears that the Shi wish to expand the Brotherhood's facility in San Francisco. Although generally we are opposed to working with outsiders with advanced technology, the Shi have a common interest in checking the Republic, and we, should be, and we would be fools to say no. Perhaps it will serve us if the worst would ever happen? The Codex will accommodate, accommodate this, surely. 55 things of American advanced energy equipment or weaponry. Nice. High Elder Promotion. <coughs> the Lost Hills Council, a group consisting of the elders living within the bunker, has a governing body that decides among whom, them, is to be the High Elder of the Brotherhood of Seal. In the past, these promotions often last until the death of the preceding High Elder, but <coughs> as of late, they have become much more common as the Council struggles for power amongst itself. The Maxonian Elders promoted. Okay, so we got elected. Um, right now, I guess we're just building stuff right now. <coughs> I got to the point where we can get two at a time, which is nice. Maximum space, 22 out of 100. We just finished Engineers of Peace. However, I do want a Mojave chapter just in case. Designation, Mojave chapter. Description. Hel headed by Elder Elijah. The Mojave chapter is to expand the Brothers, hold of the Mojave, acquire Hoover Dam, and ensure the NCR isn't able to continue its expansion eastward. <clears throat> Notes. One of the more recent chapters, the Mojave chapter, was equipped with mostly the direct, derelict equipment from the NCR Brotherhood, Brotherhood War. Um, it is the scribe's opinion that this chapter never really was intended to be successful in the long run, seemingly. The High Elder set them out only to get Elijah's politics outside of Lost Hills and to serve as a temporary roadblock for the NCR while the Lost Hills rebuilt its strength in the West. Excerpt from the Lexicon of Chapters, 13th Branch. <coughs> nice, not bad. Um, let's see, what else is here? More manpower? Yeah, we could definitely use that. So yeah, we're also doing initiate political participation. This way we get more political power. Admin up, capacity upkeep. I'm not sure that's worth doing or not. We'll probably get our manpower back, but admin capacity upkeep. Capacity, yeah, it's right there. We only have one out of three administrative centers, which we probably want to expand. We have our safety department already, which limits the amount of, uh, reduces the risk of accidents when doing loss of decisions, greatly increasing the amount of manpower we get back with each decision on average. Which will be very, very, which is very, 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 very important to do. So we'll try to expand everything else here. Um, I've seen this one. What is it? Where is it? Where is it? Construction? No construction. Yeah, this actually is really much nicer. Yeah, the safety stuff is not bad. I like the safety stuff. It seems like it's going to help out quite a bit. One percent chance of losing two hundred manpower there. Oh boy. Um, condensed underground construction facilities. I've heard this is not great, it's not bad, but it's just not worth doing. I don't know. I want, the, the reason I'm taking so long with this episode, or at least it feels that way, because I've been doing this for like half an hour off screen already, um, is I want your opinions on how to play Lost Hills, because I've heard this is challenging and not a lot of people are super happy. Some people are happy with this, this new Lost Hills, you know, old Brotherhood of Steel in uh, the West Coast, but not a lot of people are, some people are just not very happy with it. I don't know, I, I want to wait to make a decision on this, so I want to know what your thoughts are on Lost Hills as well as we continue with this campaign together, so. Uh, just let me know in the comments below, please, if you could. Uh, we could dig deeper as well, which I do want to do to get more space. Um, get, uh, let's see, 30, plus 30 more space. We probably want to do that quite a few times. Underground construction facilities. Basically, you remove a city from above ground, basically, and then you put it off map, which is not bad. Um, construct underground arms facilities as well. Same thing. Underground expansion. You get one more construction slot. Oh. Underground construction slots are special slots we can fill with various buildings or installations to see and utilize your underground construction slots. See relevant decision categories. Underground construction slot. 
condensed workshop. Available construction slots. One. Not good. Uh, we need to dig deeper eventually, but initiate research. We get more research speed. Not bad. The production. More output. Construction. More construction speed, obviously. Expeditionary departments. Not bad. Underground administration centers. So you can do multiple things at the same time. I like that one quite a bit. So we'll do that one as well. We get political power. So we can do like three things at the same time. Um, Roach King against Vault 37, of course. Um, yeah, overall not bad. Chief of the Army, Archibald, Drenchman Speed, Maximum Command Power Increase, Daily Command Power Gain, Supply Range, War Sports pretty good. Um, Chief of the Navy, Daily Naval Speed Gain, that's actually really strong to get, but we don't really have a Navy, so it doesn't even really matter. Air Volunteer Corps, Paladin Hardy, Army Experience Gain would be good. Paladin Hardy, same thing as we saw earlier over here, Stonk, Bull, maybe Bear. Concentration of force. So here we get daily army XP gain, industry industry technology research speed. Scrap Hamilton, basically more army XP gain as well as power armor technology research speed. Scrap Hutchinson for more daily armor XP gain research speed. I'm gonna go with six just because we get daily army XP, which we definitely, 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 definitely want. So we can stop doing training those guys. Uh, but let's keep working with the land doctrine. And we're doing as we do the Mojave chapter, which we are still gonna do empty suits, don't get me wrong, as well as fill with purpose, which would be very good. Um, we need a lot of stuff here. Um, the cause, lost sales, community key. We have a lot of options to do stuff here. But I'm, one of the co complaints of the times recording for this uh, lost sales is that every focus after they get through the seven day ones are like 30 days, which takes forever. It takes like 20 years to get through. So, um, yeah. Mac Infusion. Good God. More research speed, factory output, war sport, adjusting to life underground. Another construction slot be nice. More construction slots. Um, two construction slots. Alder schemes. Maxonians. Back to health. Shell shocked. Oh god. Coronation of a new Maxonian elder. Oh, you can retire him? Elder Angahard. Angaharad. War hero. Land of succession. The Rombians. The Rombians. Call it the poor military strategy. Long history of form reaching out to the family. Hero in the council. What would have been known as scheme against each other? The hero is what? Yeah, we'll go with this one. I like being elite sometimes. Um, Tacadiz. Ex Appalachian Expedition. Let's do the Prince Francisco chapter. An older chapter, the Xi's ruler, the person known as the Emperor, allowed us to station his research post inside of the city. We're limited in how much authority this chapter has, but a station will prove useful to study the technology of San Francisco from both pre war and what the Xi scientists are able to recover. Due to the powerful governing body of the Xi, we couldn't exactly simply walk into San Francisco without the support of the Xi and the Emperor. It's an unusual relationship, but history can show how fruitful it's been, considering what the post has been given us regarding the Poseidon oil rig. So basically for this, either they, they cannot exist and we get the basically act refugees, or they win and we get a paladin division, which gives us benefits as well, which actually is really cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the, bro the Guardian's Brotherhood. Uh, scribe notes, Scribe Anna around 2195, and the seventh branch was the first to use this designation for them, but I'm unsure whether she sourced it from. It feels as if, to me, it was an inference in her part, one of the oldest chapters, the Guardians. We'll need to ask a high elder for permission to read from the founding archives, as there's very little information on the Guardians and the prerogative in which they were founded. I found some recent references to, uh, or scanned references to disagreements with the Bureau of Rights dating to around the exodus from Mariposa, yet information on them before or even after that exodus to the Glow is almost entirely unknown. I wonder the scribes before me were just as frustrated as I am about the situation. The Maxon chapter, which I fear is very difficult to defend. I found it some time ago with members of the Brotherhood were once given knowledge of a pre-war governor's bunker located in Colorado. The Maxon chapter was to obtain valuable technology and schematics they could from that bunker, the robotics manufacturing plant in Denver and Vault Zero. Historically, the chapter is somewhat of an enigma. It never really was properly equipped to complete its mission, as it only received about a third of what the paladins have been asking. Perhaps this chapter had only been intended to hold on to the Maxon bunker before the technological saviors of mankind could acquire it, maybe. The Washington Brotherhood, uh, formerly Lance Squadron. The most recent chapter of the Washington Brotherhood uh, is a new branch formed of the head of, of heads of Lance Squadron, wishing to break off from the leadership of the Midwest and instead listen to us directly. The use of the word Brotherhood or chapter in a chapter's name is mostly a decision that each chapter makes and serves as no formal distinction in its relation to us, no, normally. Such a flagrant disrespect of the chains that bind would have be seen as detrimental to our cause, but the NCR wars greatly limited our ability to reprimand chapters from afar. Regardless, the fact that they are still loyal to us rather than Epsilon is essentially a value in case the Midwest ever decides to formally betray us, of course. <clears throat> so now we are, what, 32 out of 100. Not good. Mission construction. Well... Oh, initiate equipment, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. When removed, 
100% research bonus for infantry to come. Ooh, that's not bad. Dig deeper, underground stuff, deploy paladins, Maxonians, what's up, all this stuff. Diplomacy, of course. Seek appeasement, don't really care. Um, actually, can we send you volunteers already? Current distance is quite a, quite a few ways away. Lost sales diplomacy. At peace. Reach out to the guardians. Victory at sunburst. Oh. That's complete focus. Ah. The guardian brotherhood. Reach out to the guardians. Exists. Is independent and, at, and, at, and is at peace. Uh, Tagadis Thunder. Uh, or the Appalachian Expedition or the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel. An extremely early chapter, Tagadis Thunder was a U.S. Army Ranger unit. Our founder got into contact with following the Great War. We tried on several occasions to send reinforcements to Appalachia. We never did get word on the condition or unit they survived. A strange case. Do we have any other texts on them? Then you get a hold of the transcripts of the conversations. Our founders had with Tagadis. A part of me wonders this chapter even existed. The Montana chapter. Uh, the Montana chapter thankfully sent us a small community key explaining the founding. They say they are a detachment from the Midwest Brother to Steel, sent to obtain technology within Montana for that branch. Elder Patroclus uh, seemed willing to listen to our Scrabble request, implying to me that this branch has the potential of the following. The chain's text of bind and the heeding Lost Hill's words. And since we're here anyways, um, we can't do any more because we have no more construction slots. God dang it. Um, underground expansion, yeah. I guess we're going to keep doing this for a long time then. So, we have one. We, have, we can do another one here. Do, two, command power. Thank God we got enough command power for now. More political power. That'd be nice. I'll be honest. That's probably the best thing to do for now. Oh, we can do another one too? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Research speed. Output. Construction. Well, we've only have four. Output's okay. Research speed's okay. We're going to go with you two. We'll be burning up a lot of command power. Yeah. Max and Jeff, we read all those. We have even more Texas Expedition, the Leon's Communication 2. Wow. Oh, up in the north, maybe. Um, so we did all of these. We'll talk about that. Radio towers. By amplifying radio towers in the Lost Hills, we can better receive signals and send aid to distant chapters across the wasteland. Yeah, Texas Expedition. Let's go ahead and do the Brotherhood. Now let's do what radio towers first. Um, Texas Expedition. Text and expedition is a task following the defeat of the master with the apprehension of a key person of interest, the General Atnus. The text and expedition was led by Rambus, who willingly agreed to go following disagreements he had with the Council. There are some saying that even to this day there are some that still harbor grudges against the chains of Bion and the Brotherhood as a whole. Midwest Expedition. And the Midwest Brotherhood of Steel, formerly the Eastern Brotherhood of Steel. The Midwest are a long lived chapter serving to help secure the heartland of the wasteland and fight back against key threats of interest that pose a risk to our grand organization. Uh, early on in Lost Hills history, a splinter group of brother paladins, elders, and scribes known as the Technological Saviors of the Mankind Forum. The Saviors believed in the idea that Maxon's vision was flawed in important detail, that the Brotherhood should safeguard technology, feeling that the Brotherhood should act in charity for those living today, instead of waiting for a future generation. It's a flawed idea, and I advise anyone reading this to acclimate themselves with the Codex if they need an understanding why. Gulf Expedition The Gulf Coast Brotherhood of Steel from our brief communications with the Leon's expedition, we have heard from the Gulf Coast as a chapter or originating from the Midwest. There's such as something called the Fountain of Dreams, a tower that can create a natural alternative to right away. Getting into contact with this chapter's advised, we should st start uh, startling. We know startling little about them. Hero in the Council? Of course. He is a hero is a Maxonian elder. Of course. And Leon's expedition. Uh, elder or Leon's or Lions Leon's mission was simple: reestablish communications with Eastern chapters, discover the truth beyond rumors of supermutant activity in Washington, and reclaim America's capital for the Brotherhood. And I do want to do what else? I do want to get down here, a greater reforms and whatnot. That'd be good as well. But new reforms would be good too. There are plenty of new reforms a brother could put into place if we so try. Some of these may prove difficult to get past, though, in the veterans' pension. Embarrassingly, the brother has been forced to rely on currency for minutes of its nice to acquire ammunition. During the NCR war, quartermasters brought microfusion socials from the Van Graffs who sold them in turn to knights. Now I have a swath of knights who are in debt to the quartermasters, who in turn owe the Van Graffs. We need to address this directly. Distant chapter news, the Gulf Brotherhood finds the Fountain of Dreams. We just received news that the Gulf Brotherhood has found the Fountain of Dreams, a massive natural spring that's said to create a byproduct that can serve as a natural placement for right away. That's great! Arthur Maxon sent east. Arthur Maxon, heir of the Maxon bloodline, has commonly been seen as a valued tool of the various elder cliques at Lost Hills recently. He's been ferried out of the bunker again against her will. Well, was apprehended those who are responsible and sent them to detention. It sadly seems that taking back little Maxon is out of our hands. We should have acted sooner. Exposure for technology, of course, like normal. Um, we can go and do that one, why not? Um, in the meantime, we actually have four slots now, and we're not really sure, I'm not really sure what else to do we could do. Um, yeah. 
Well, we still have all the stuff here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to have that many allies overall, which makes sense. She went and joined the NCR already. Uh, the Guardians already died to the 215th. Maxing Chapter's still alive for now. Montana Chapter's doing okay. Uh, Washington Brother is doing, well, doing all right. Not doing too badly, actually. Council Drama. Of course, more Council Drama. The Maxonians were right. It doesn't really matter at this point because we're at 100%, but whatever. We're still doing the Texas Expedition. We still got the Midwest Expedition, Gulf Expedition. Um, yeah, it's really disappointed the San Francisco chapter. Late to the trigger. Yeah. We couldn't quite get them as well. Gulf Expedition, like we read earlier. Conflict in the chapter would not be bad. And we get an early super mutant threat, but the, New American, the American Heartland, huh? Chicago's Reclamation. Obviously, we can't do this stuff really because, I mean, it's not in the game yet, but we did read these earlier, and flame, uh, Finding Cats would be good to do as well after do new reforms. Veterans pensions, so, but although traditionally the brothers looked down on trade in our earliest days, we did trade with the merchants of the hub. Perhaps we could sell limited our amounts of high technology for caps. Bounty hunting. The brother in Appalachia wants their money and rewards doing favors for local sellers. There's no reason the Western brother can't do like what? It's a bit embarrassing, but we should do whatever we can to ensure the chain remains unbroken. Debts of the quartermasters. Thanks for economic reforms. We can now pay out the debts of the quartermasters and a lump payment to the Van Graffs. Hopefully this will be the end of the that affair. Elder Schemes, a brother who typically does not have a leader like the NCR or a monarchy. Rather, there's a temporary high elder that is chosen from among the different elders. Um, this is a position that assists primarily with medi mediating disagreements among the council, but the fact that such positions needed is proof alone of the instability at the top of uh, the Brotherhood. Um, so, that one's done, which is good, but we're going to immediately do Brotherhood R&D because we lose Army XP to get a research slot. The old R&D Department of Lost Hills used to be housed off inside bunkers, but following the NCR Brotherhood's war destruction of uh, several bunkers, we will need to create a new department right here at Lost Hills. Learning from the NCR Brotherhood of Steel War. Many brave soldiers died in the NCR Brotherhood War. We need to honor their sacrifice and learn what we can do from this conflict so that in the future we can come out victorious. Uh, we need extra political power just because, well, we did victory at Sunburst, but uh, Mavic Chapter is now at war with uh, Kaiser's Legion, which is not actually not good. Actually, why about not send the volunteers yet? We're going to send the volunteers and hopefully help them hold out, which doesn't look good to Cottonwood Co. Also, the Maxing Chapter did die. We did send volunteers, but we were able to get them back, as you can see right here. Um, Montana Chapter is looking okay. Brotherhood's looking okay ish. Oh, this is not going great. Man. I just hope we can do well. Um, so, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and read about study of legionary tactical data. With Mojave's conflict, Against this legion, we've gotten some particularly lucrative technology at our disposal in Elijah's expeditions. Elijah has been taking some liberties with his expedition, going out of his way to deviate from the plan. We've been hearing word from other Mojave chapter members that a casino has caught his eye. Let's hope this develops well. Late to the trigger. With the fall of the Guardians, so too is at the end of their failed mission. Maybe if they, they had stayed with us, they could have avoided this fate. Contact the bunkers. We haven't checked on the San Francisco, chap San Francisco chapter since we signed the temporary ceasefire with the NCR. Let's see how they're doing. Well, they don't exist anymore. What is this? Watch your brother. The cause successful. The immortals coup successful. With the cause, the remnants of the old original Midwest loyalists and those that oppose the immortal, having been dealt with the immortal, has now cemented his new Washington Brotherhood as a true continuation of the Brotherhood in the far north. And a super early mutant threat. It turns out that at some point the Appalachian members of the Brotherhood are still engaged in prolonged conflict with super mutants. What's interesting about these super mutants is that they actually were the predecessor to those in the Master's Army conflict in the chapter. We're getting some early reports that appear the Appalachian members of the Brotherhood of Steel were engaged in some sort of civil war. We've got to figure, our, our, figure it out and have our scribes discern what happened. Um, uh, a Maxon's end. It seems that the Maxon Buck has finally fallen after all this time. What a shame. We could have held up for so long. We were the only ones manning it, but rather than Elder Brixley. Uh, Maxonians. The Maxonians typically are the conservatives of the Brotherhood of Steel. Those that feel the upholding of the Codex is written is typically preferential to the more interpretive views of the text. These are the elders, notably, who worked to have Elder Elijah sent off to the Mojave in the recent years. Rambians. The Rambians block of the Brotherhood of Steel has historically consisted of moderate reformers. All would make sensible reforms of the Codex and the Brotherhood's infrastructure as a whole that makes sense in the era of the times. Namely, or named after the heralded head paladin of yore, Rambians typically align with those who are more supportive of the positive efforts the distant Lions or Leon's expeditions have been making towards assisting civilian sectors. Advanced scavenging. Greater reforms sound like fun because they don't, definitely won't get down here. Adjusted the bunker lifestyle. Among the Brotherhood, those living near the Lost Hills, is going to be a bit of a change for us to go from multiple bunkers to just one. We need to acclimate to the bunker life in order to make this a comfortable existence. And then our right. As a technocratic organization, every piece of technology is rightfully ours. We do not steal technology out of malice or spite. We take it away to protect the innocents. We will inevitably misuse it. Although people don't always understand, everything we do is ultimately to keep 
The voice is unsafe. Well, I understand technology is second to none. But I think I'm going to end it here because I'm going to spend a lot of time off screen doing all this stuff. So um, we'll do all this stuff. Also, we did get the combat simulators done and finished, which is really nice, actually. So we're going to really beeline through a lot of uh, army XP with using the limited amount of uh, command power that we have. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll probably struggle a whole bunch more. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.